Winnipeg of Lateral and Jensen. Fraser, the punter, standing on the 15. He drives a pretty good kick down to Lateral at the 40. Lateral squirms through to the 50. My name is Ron Pevy Lateral. <coughs> uh, they gave me a uh, nickname, <coughs> and uh, so I had to live with that. So because they never knew my first name, and. Uh, I played with the, I had the privilege of playing with the Winnipeg Football Club from 55 to 65. And I would have to say that would have to be the decade of all decades, <laughs> believe me. Uh, it was really an odd uh, situation coming off the bench. Uh, Glenn McWinney broke his neck on a punt return, okay, and they're carrying him off on a stretcher in front of the, everybody, you know, and I'm looking at it, oh, geez. And then Sherman says, let her out. Come here. So he grabbed me by the arm and he says, you go out there, okay? And if you drop that, a whole bunch of explicatives, I'll find you half your salary. I'll get out there. Now that's coaching, okay? So I went out there and I said, uh, I have to do something really um, smart because I'm a nervous wreck, okay? So I'm back there. I had to make a decision. And I'm, it, it was a brainstorm. It's funny how fear can, you know, get the adrenalines going and, I'll let the ball drop and fall on it. And that's what I did. <laughs> and then there was um, the icebreaker right there. Blue Bomber fans, uh, <clears throat> you know, are like um, the many Canadian football fans across uh, the league, but they are, they are very special because they're right on, on home ground. And uh, when you hear them cheer in the stadium, that is, you know, really something. And it, it is the 13th man. but. It, more so, when we used to come back, um, we used to be, after a Grey Cup, we used to go to the arena, and there would be 12,000 fans there greeting us. And not only that, there would be at the airport, <clears throat> along the roadway, and there, there was a, um, the cars with our names on and so on, and my, my mother was there, my sister was there, and you know, they witnessed this, and you know, you always have to acknowledge your parents you know, and um, this was probably the best way, you know, to have them part of the celebration. And uh, so, you know, that, that is absolutely incredible. Four, four times that we went to the arena, you know, with the, the fans. To me, uh, it, means, uh, it means a lot, I mean, just a small part of it. And uh, I'm, I'm still dreaming, and I, I, they're not nightmares, okay. Well, I'd certainly like to take this opportunity to thank especially the Winnipeg Blue Bomber fans for their support over an 80-year period. And, you know, I would, have, I would go back to 1955, okay, and, uh, and I see them around once in a while, and they, they acknowledge his pep. You remember that? You're that old? <laughs> so I like to, you know, the current Bombers, you're, you're still great fans. Uh, the, the youth element and, and uh, the, the ones that, you know, grandfathers and grandpas that bring their children and so on. So I hope you'll be sure to be in the stands for more great Blue Bomber moments and memories this season. And um, I'm, I'm, opti I'm very optimistic that everything is going to get done right.